What skills from your baseball career do you think will translate well to driving the pace car? Hand not coordination. <laughs> you say, right? Kid, if you could take us back, just how did you driving the car this week, tomorrow, just come about? Uh, I got a call a couple weeks ago and you know, looked down and looked at my calendar and no matter what was on that calendar, I was free. <laughs> uh, there's certain things in life that you, you know, people have to understand that this is one of those things that is beyond unbelievable. I know you said you were here as a photographer once. Do you remember what year that was and just like what, what you remember from that experience? Uh, that I was in turn one and how, when I came down, how much wind that those cars push out. <laughs> And like when they came around the second time, I was ready. But the first one, I was like, ooh. <laughs> well, I see why some people lost their cameras sometimes. <laughs> what is it, what do you think it's gonna feel like being in that car tomorrow going over 100 miles per hour to start the race off? I'll have that feeling tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> you did some practice today, right? Yeah. Okay, so you did a lot of thrilling things in your baseball career, thrilling experiences. What's the thrill like? How's that compared to, to driving the car? Um, what you did today? You know, it's, I mean, you're here. Yeah. I mean, you don't get this opportunity, you know. I mean, very few people get an opportunity to do this, so it's 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 huge. It, it's overwhelming sometimes. It's harder to hit a hundred mile an hour fastball or take a pitcher with cars to match at 230 miles an hour. Uh, depending on who's throwing it. <laughs> uh, at least, see, I'm behind a barricade, so <laughs> I can't get hit. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes you gotta, you know, move out the way. But you know, like like I said, it was. You know, we were here a couple of years ago. We had a blast, um, and you know, I've been to other races, uh, but this one seems so far to be the, the biggest one. Are there a number of baseball players that are uh, fans of motorsports that you know of? Oh, everybody. Everybody. Oh yeah. I mean, you know, fantasy. You know, we have fantasy drafts uh, in the baseball season. Uh, it's funny because, like, you know, like everybody else, Dale Senior is one of my guys that I, I watched and then Junior. Uh, I would wear black batting gloves on Sunday because I knew it was race day. <laughs> they would laugh at me like, oh, there you go. Yeah, it must be Sunday. Black batting gloves. But, you know, we, we, we're superstitious like everybody else. And, but it, it's, it, like I said, this this event is huge and, you know, I'm just thankful that, you know, I get an opportunity to do this. Ken, I know you spent a little time here in Indy when your dad was in the minors. Just what do you remember about that, just being four. around in this area? <laughs> I was four. <laughs> now, I have friends here that we come visit, and, but we go straight to the house, and then, you know, <laughs> it's usually that, that barbecue day. That's the day that they, you know, they have you over. Mm -hmm. You know, it's all about food nowadays. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't remember much outside of No, because I like, go straight to the house, eat, and then drive back two hours to back to my house. You know, but, um, you know, I just remember that you know my dad was never in town during the 500 as a kid they were always gone because nobody's gonna watch the race game either you know they were all this is the, the the biggest thing of the year and so you know i remember my dad being out of town and coming close but not all the way into town and go to my uncle's house and eat and go back home Who's gonna drink the milk tomorrow? Ooh. There's quite a few people on that list. There's actually four people. There's four people that got a good chance. Why are they all on one team? <laughs> <laughs> Why are they all on one team? Does that seem like they stack the team? Yeah. <laughs> what have you enjoyed most about just being a being here these last few days throughout the week? I just got here. Okay. Yeah, I, I literally I was in uh Cooperstown. We had uh uh, a baseball game there um, and you know they're doing soul of the game which is um, bringing back some of the guys from the Negro League and having a baseball game and it was CC and Prince Fielder and you know Adam Jones uh, you know we Josh Fields Tony Gwynn Jr. I mean they played a, a game today and uh you know, we uh, recognized Willie Mays at the, at the end of the first inning for being the oldest living Hall of Famer. Who he wasn't there, but uh, he uh, we came out the guys, saluted him, and then I jumped on a plane to come here. Okay, we only have a couple.